Stripe and other platforms like it have made it possible for businesses and customers alike to conduct safe financial transactions online, which has led to the widespread adoption of online transactions in this era of digital technology. Nevertheless, the convenience of online payments is accompanied by the possibility of being a victim of fraud or scam. In the event that you find yourself in a position in which you have been defrauded while using Stripe, you might be surprised to learn that you are eligible for a refund. Let's have a closer look at the specifics. The refund policy of Stripe is implemented with the intention of safeguarding both merchants and customers. The circumstances surrounding the transaction and the steps you take will have a significant impact on whether or not you are able to receive a refund if you have been the victim of a scam. If you want to know something, here it is. 1. Dispute Resolution Process In the event that you experience a problem with a transaction, such as being taken advantage of or receiving a product that is flawed, the initial step that you should take is to get in touch with the merchant directly in order to address the circumstance. The majority of trusted vendors are eager to collaborate with you in order to discover a solution. 2. Time Frame for Disputes Disputes regarding transactions can be filed with Stripe within certain limits. When it comes to initiating a dispute, you typically have 90 days from the date of the transaction to proceed. It is imperative that you take fast action if you suspect that you have been defrauded. 3. Chargeback Protection Stripe provides merchants with chargeback protection, which implies that they have the ability to contest chargebacks that have been lodged by customers. In the event that you submit a chargeback without a valid justification, the merchant has the ability to challenge it, which may result in unexpected issues. Steps to take if you've been scammed. In the event that you have reason to believe that you have been defrauded when dealing with Stripe, the following are the procedures that you should take in order to improve your chances of receiving a refund. 1. Gather evidence. Gather all of the pertinent information regarding the transaction, such as receipts, emails, screenshots, and any correspondence that may have taken place with the merchant. In the event that you need to register a dispute, this documentation will be absolutely necessary. 2. Contact the merchant. Make contact with the retailer in order to provide an explanation of the incident and get a refund. Give them the opportunity to correct the situation and provide evidence that they have been defrauded. A great number of retailers are eager to provide refunds in order to preserve their reputation and ensure that their customers are satisfied. 3. Initiate a dispute. In the event that the merchant is unwilling to comply or if you are unable to come to an agreement, you have the option of initiating a dispute with Stripe. If you believe that you are entitled to a refund, you should present them with the proof that you have obtained and explain its reasons. Ensure that your communication is both comprehensive and succinct. 4. Monitor the dispute process. Once you have filed a dispute, it is important to keep yourself updated on its development. Stripe is going to conduct an investigation into the problem and contact with both parties in order to find a solution. Always be ready to supply more information in the event that it is needed. 5. Consider legal action. If you have exhausted all other options and are unable to obtain a refund through the dispute resolution method offered by Stripe, you may be required to investigate further choices, such as submitting a complaint to consumer protection organizations or seeking the advice of another legal professional. Tips for avoiding scams on Stripe. When it comes to cons, prevention is always preferable to having to deal with them. On Stripe, the following are some suggestions that can assist you in avoiding being a victim of fraudulent transactions. 1. Research the merchant. Before making a purchase, it is important to do research on the reputation of the retailer and read reviews written by previous customers. Be aware of internet sites that are unfamiliar to you or appear dubious. 2. Use secure payment methods. Make use of safe payment methods if it is feasible to do so, such as credit cards or digital wallets that provide buyer protection. It is best to avoid transmitting money through wire transfers and other means that cannot be reversed. 3. Be skeptical of unsolicited offers. Caution should be exercised in the event that you receive unsolicited emails or messages that offer deals that appear to be unrealistically attractive. Phishing is a common method that con artists employ to entice victims who are easily duped. 4. Keep your information secure. 
By utilizing robust and one-of-a-kind passwords for each of your accounts and exercising caution when it comes to sharing critical information online, you can safeguard your personal and financial information. 5. Trust your instincts. When you have a feeling that something is off or when you are unsure about a transaction, you should adhere to your gut feelings and proceed with caution. It is preferable to err on the side of caution rather than to be taken advantage of by a con artist. In the event that you have been defrauded, it is possible to receive a refund through Stripe. However, this is not always guaranteed. By gaining an awareness of Stripe's refund policy, taking preventative measures to safeguard yourself, and being aware of how to react in the event that you come across a scam, you may substantially reduce the likelihood of experiencing monetary loss and ensure a more secure experience when purchasing online. In the event that you suspect you have been cheated, it is important to remember to remain watchful, to follow your instincts, and to seek assistance.